his poisoning and his arrest. Okay. He said he was corrupting the youth, but he wasn't okay. corrupting them. He was inspiring them to challenge authority. He was inspiring them to think for themselves. When they were told ah. something, instead of blindly complying, he said, look, analyze who these people are who right. are telling you to do X. And I even had a tweet I put out mm. on my, I mean, I've been banned on Twitter forever. So I've, I've been through 20 Twitter bans. I come back as undercover, whatever. Okay. Well, but in my opinion, I, I think- I've been saying for all, I said often, I said, okay. if, you have a, if you have a point of view that you are very strong in right. your adherence to, if mm. you truly believe something, you need to sit and analyze whether it's your own personal experience that makes you believe something or if something, someone else or something else has convinced you of this. That's and a great- And if they have, you need to then once again, analyze that point of view and analyze who, this, who these people are and what they want from you. Do they mm. truly want the best of you? If the news convinces you of something to the point where you're going to argue with your only own family members at a dinner table, yeah, does the news really care about you more than your family? This is a genuine question. You need no, to and it's a great, it's a great question, but where it came yeah. from, and then no, hey, I what their intentions are. It's true. And if you start it's to true. do that, you yeah. look at something like COVID, for example, it's an easy one. You look at all the bullshit they were saying, and Thank you say, you so no, wait, wait, wait. Why do you think men and women are different? 